Hello everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, here with us today is the reigning Mrs. Nevada America 2019, Mrs. Yelena Enter. Hello, Yelena. Hi, thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have you at Vegas Vibes. And you are gorgeous. <laughs> the first time I saw you at Fontaine, oh my gosh, I'm like, who's that lady? <laughs> thank you. And no wonder, you're so gorgeous. You're a beauty queen. Thank you. <laughs> so when did the Mrs. Nevada pageant happen? What? Mrs. Nevada pageant happened in April of 2018. So I won my title April 22nd, and I'm still reigning till 2019, June of 2019. That's amazing. So how excited <laughs> you must have been when you won the crown. Absolutely. This is my second time around, second time I was uh, trying for the title. For the same title. For the same title, yes. And I learned so much my first time around. I didn't win, but nothing is a failure, right? Everything is a lesson. So I learned a lot, and I made a lot of progress, and I won my second time around. So what motivated you to to join such a very prestigious international monumental pageant? Yes, competing the second time or the first time? E even the first time and the first second time. time. So uh, as you can tell by my accent, I am from Russia originally. And a few years ago, I was at one of the pageants supporting one of my friends, her daughter. She was 17 and she competed for Miss Nevada at that time, a few years back. And I was so mesmerized by her beauty, her grace, her poise, and so much she did for the community. And I was always the girl behind the scenes. I was always the girl in the audience. And when my director, Jackie McKenna, approached me and invited me to compete for the local title, you I did not hesitate. Uh, well, no, I couldn't even believe it that, oh. you know, she would consider me as a title holder. And then, you know, I decided, you know what, if you don't try, you will never win. You'll you never will know. never succeed. Yes. You will never know. So that's why, you know, I joined and tried first time and tried the second time. <laughs> and of course, the second time he won the title. So recall that moment when they called you and said, oh, the reigning, uh, the, the winner of Mrs. Nevada America Co correct. is... Correct. So it's, it actually is a funny story because I was so nervous, so nervous. The whole audience was watching me, my parents, everybody were there, all of my friends. I had 100 people in the audience. And I remember we were holding hands, me and my runner-up, and we were holding hands, and how they announced the winner, they usually announced the first, first runner-up first. first. So they called her name. So I thought she was the winner. They never called my name necessarily until later on. They introduced me as the now the new reigning, reigning queen. New, new, new queen, Mrs. Nevada, America, Yelena Anter. But so it took me a few seconds to realize I actually won. I thought the girl who they announced won. Oh, <laughs> it was incredible, incredible. 2018 Mrs. Nevada, America pageant. It's Mrs. Red Rock, Amanda Klein. Yeah. 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 Yes. Too. And you're married, right? Yes, I'm married. We've been together for 15 years and married for 10 years. Any children? Not yet. Not, Not blessed yet. yet. Maybe one day we have two dogs. Ah. <laughs> They're furry babies. <laughs> well, you look very young, if I may ask. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I am 38. 38. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm older than you. You I'm are? I, thought, I could not tell. I thought you were way younger. <laughs> but you look, you don't look like your age. You look so much younger than Thank your you. age. Thank you. And of course, you. you're very gorgeous. Thank and you. I see your posts on Facebook and social media. You're very 
inspiring. Thank you. you I post a lot of inspirational quotes and it's honestly it comes natural to me. I just post my everyday life. I love to cook. I love healthy life lifestyle, healthy cooking. I'm working on my I'm working on two books actually. One is on salads, basically a salad a day to stay healthy, to stay fit. And uh, another another book is on uh, craft cocktails. Oh wow! I've I've seen some mm -hmm. of your uh, posting. Some of my cocktails, of yes. yes. <laughs> and you also bake. Absolutely right? yes, I bake and I have uh, Dazzleberry Dazzleberry Vegas. It's custom strawberry chocolate covered strawberry business. That's your business. Oh, yes, yes, yes. and they're that. one of a kind strawberries for custom for a special occasion. When did you learn how to cook? I mean, is that... Uh, how to cook? Yeah. Grow when, when did you find out that you can cook well? Well, growing up in Russia, I grew up basically on a farm. So we grew all of our fruits and vegetables and we cooked all of our food. There was, there was no fast food places, no restaurants where I grew up. Tiny little place. So as a family, we always cooked every single day, every single meal and I carried it over to United States and I started cooking for my husband and I love it, it's meditation for me. No matter how hard of a day I would be having at work or you know, just everyday life, I come home and the kitchen is my sanctuary. I completely at peace, relaxed, inspired, happy. I cook with a smile on my face, That's I love wonderful. it. wonderful, it makes you happy. I love it, it you makes cook. me happy. And I read somewhere that uh, you're a big fan of Elvis Presley. And last oh, Christmas... Oh, you did you research me! Yeah. <laughs> I am a huge fan of Elvis. I... And you grew up listening to his songs. Yes. And actually, you made this tree and decorated it with uh, Elvis Presley's ornaments. Yes, I have a Blue Christmas Elvis tree. Elvis has a song, Blue Christmas. And that tree, it's my third one. I have three trees. So uh, Elvis tree is a blue juniper tree and it has all blue and silver ornaments and all the Elvis ornaments and I've collected them over probably 19 years as long as I've been here in the United States I've collected all the special ornaments some of them are from Graceland uh, Elvis have you been home. to Graceland? Yes I, I went there for well. my 30th birthday I love that I stayed at Heartbreak Hotel swam at Heartbreak pool <laughs> and visited Graceland. It was fun. Yeah, I've seen Graceland too. You did? Yes. I, I went there it. in Memphis. So what did you see in Elvis that made you think is, wow. Special? Um, so growing up in Russia, any American music was strictly, strictly prohibited. And oh. back in the day, it was communist Russia. So my dad used to smuggle uh, Elvis records in his sleeve of his jacket. They would just printed on a little plastic piece and of course the quality was not the same. I, I used to listen to the records over and over and over and try to sound out the words and that's how I learned English. His voice was mesmerizing to me and then I started researching American culture and I just had that dream of, to coming, co to of com States. coming to the United States and the reason why I chose Las Vegas because he sang about Las Vegas. Viva Las, Viva Vegas. Las Vegas! Yes, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> it's a dream come true. It's a dream and come true, definitely. And you have a successful life, your business, and of I'm course, blessed. you're yes, you're very blessed. Uh, what's your advocacy? What was your platform when you joined uh, Mrs. Nevada America? When I joined Mrs. Nevada America, and it's still my platform, uh, healthy lifestyle and heart health especially. My father was diagnosed with a heart disease and he had a quadruple bypass in Russia, which was really, really tough, hard recovery. My best friend had a stroke at the age of 30. So that's oh. why also that is my mission to educate people on heart healthy food, a heart disease is preventable by exercise and just in general a healthy lifestyle and regular checkups. So, you know, heart disease um, affects 75% of the population of the world. So it's very important to know how to prevent it and minimize it. That's wonderful. I hope your dad is okay. He's, he's doing wonderful now. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's wonderful. You, you also run a marathon, right? Yes. Have you reached your goal? Yes, absolutely. Last year, uh, first, uh, first uh, day of the year, last year of 2018, I made a goal of running 13 half marathons, and I accomplished it. My last half marathon was on December 16th, and it was 13 half marathons, 170 miles. What's the best part of winning the title of Mrs. Nevada America? What has it done to you? What does it change your perception of beauty pageants? Well, you know, the best part, there's no particular part, I would say, but the whole process, the learning process, preparations, um, you know, I was very shy and I had a hard time with, you know, public speaking. So uh, through preparation for the pageant and winning the title, it kind of like broke me out of my shell out of, and pushed me, uh, made me push my limits as well. And I just learned so much. And the ability to inspire people to touch that many more lives and, you know, and you show up somewhere with your sash and crown and people feel special that you're there. And you have the voice. It gives you the you, platform, it yes. It, yes, and it, it, it gives me the voice to bring attention to my platform, bring attention to what's important to me and what I'm passionate about. So what would you like to accomplish by the end of your reign? Uh, touch as many people as I can, continue growing the, this organization who helps women to find their voice, to you know, overcome their insecurities. So if I can contribute to the organization, contribute to our community in general, because Las I love Las Vegas, Las Vegas is my home. Is there anything else that's on your bucket list that you would like to pursue? in the near future? Oh, well, besides having a family, having kids, that would be my probably number one goal. But I love to travel because wh whenever you travel, anywhere new you travel, you learn so much. You see how other people live, experience other cultures. So I would love to travel and, um, you know, um, just Empower more empower more people, people, learn as much as I can, and just keep growing in general. I don't want to put a ceiling on personal growth and then whatever I can share with others. What pieces of advice or words of wisdom would you suggest to anyone who would like to be a beauty queen or anything in general, yes? Pursue your passions, your goals, your... Um, Pursue your goals no matter how impossible they seem. And the sooner the better, because then if you don't win the first time or if you don't accomplish it on the first try, you still have time to do it again and um, fulfill your, your dreams. Yes, actually I have seen you uh, post something and uh, the, the caption was, all your dreams will come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Exactly. And I think that was a very... Uh, inspirational quote. Exactly. From you. It's it, anything you start, any new beginning is scary. It's unknown. So courage is very important. You just have to, through your fears, you have to just work towards your dream. Coming to United States was scary. I was 19, had $800 in my po in my pocket. Period. No family here, no friends, no relatives, no job, and I came here by myself, and. Um, you know, I was scared, but I did it because I was following my dream. But look and, at you. You have come a long way. And by sharing my story, hopefully I'll inspire other, you know, you know, women and men and kids to not be too scared of their dream or unknown and just keep going, keep working hard towards it. Well, thank you so much. I'm definitely one of those people you have inspired <laughs> and continue inspiring all of us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you again, Miss Yelena Anter. You're very beautiful and thank you. I can feel your beautiful inside and out. And thank good luck you. on your reign. Thank you. Please invite everyone, all our viewers, to the upcoming Mrs. Nevada competition. Um, yes, a Mrs. Nevada competition will be June 23rd at the South Point Hotel. And you, all the information will be on our website, MrsNevadaAmerica.com. You can follow me on Facebook at Mrs. Nevada America, and uh, direct message me, email us, and join us for our upcoming event.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Yelena. Enter. Correct. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, I'm Esmeralda Padilla. Go catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here in Vegas Vibes. I would like to thank my award of sponsor, Anne Fontaine. Anne Fontaine is located at the Farm Shops in Caesars Palace. Thank you to its store manager, Miss Anna Billings. Take care, everyone. Mabuhay. God bless you.